Have you ever been inside a hobby shop and you saw this totally rad bodacious model car and you wanted to know what was in that box before you bought it? Now tonight we're going to drive away in style with this 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach by Monogram. And if you can survive to the end of this video, I'm going to show you a really bodacious looking model car kit that you might want to see next. Quit all that jive talking, Trevor. Let's go down to the bench and see what's in the box. 1988 saw huge amounts of movies, music, and TV shows. And some of those were Elvira, Mistress of the Dark, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, The New Adventures of Pippi Longstocking, Scooby-Doo and the Ghoul School, Beetlejuice, and who could forget the adventures of Baron Munchausen. We also got this really amazing 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach from Monogram. Now when I was doing my research on these Lamborghinis, I actually found out that the 25th anniversary lasted from 1988 to 1990. So usually we think of these things as a one year special one-off car, but Lamborghini actually ran the 25th anniversary Lambo for three years. This model kit is a skill level 2, requires glue, and has 129 pieces inside the box. On this side of the box we get a little bit of a history of our 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach right down here. And if we move the box across it says to choose the model kit that's right for you and shows skills levels 1, 2, and 3. And like it said on the top of the box this is a skill level 2 kit. Turning the box to the other side, we can see this nice rear three-quarter view shot of our Lamborghini, as well as the mid-engine, which is under that little compartment there. And then there we have the front three-quarters of our Lambo. So let's just pull the lid off this and see what's inside really quick before we get into more explanation. Now here we have the instructions for the 25th Lamborghini, which Danny the dog will take a look at. And then we've got the nice red body here, a whole bunch of red plastic components. These were in the bag originally, but uh, I kind of reversed that around to put the bag onto the glass so it doesn't get scratched up. Just like this. There's our chrome components and we have the tires in the corner. Hey everybody, this is Danny the dog again. So here we have the instructions for our 25th anniversary Lamborghini. And as you can see, there's a huge write-up right in here all about the car and the great performance it had and that it could go from 0 to 60 in 4.7 seconds. So these instructions just fold out and we'll take a look at them picture by picture. Now here we have panel 1 with that amazing Lamborghini V12 motor in there. And you've got a right and left hand side that includes a transmission. There's a transmission cover, an oil pan cover, the starter motor, and our cylinder heads, and then the intake, which is also in two pieces here, with the injection panel on the bottom and the intake manifold on the top. Panel 2 shows our exhaust manifolds being glued on, and as you can see, you get four of them. And then we've got this elaborate engine mount right here, and then this little balloon is pointing toward there. That's our engine cover, our oil filler pipe, our air conditioning unit, our engine pump, and our alternator and fan belt. Those all glue together and then glue to the front of the engine. Panel 3 shows our wheel wells with the suspension members being glued on. And then you take both of those assemblies and you drop them right onto the floor pan. Now panel 5 shows these radiators being glued together. You get an outer and inner half, and then they would go right there and there. And then we've got this rear bulkhead as well. Panel 6 shows the lower radiator pipe being glued in place, as well as the dual coils. Panel 7 shows our V12 engine being dropped into place. And then panel 8 shows where the upper radiator pipe goes in relation to the little fans and the engine. Panel 9 shows the cam cover and fuel injection chamber being glued together and then being dropped on top of the engine. Panel 10 shows the installation of the lower muffler half and then panel 11 shows the upper half being glued in place as well as this body panel here. And it looks like Trevor actually marked down what the colors are so F is aluminum and uh, that kind of neat stuff. Panel 12 shows our independent rear suspension being glued into place. This is the hub carrier on the outside 
and then we've got our half shafts in here. And then panel 13 shows the shock absorbers, which you do four times. In panel 14, we see our interior being glued together. Here we have these nice bucket seats, which drop onto our floor pan. Then we've got our shifter lever and our handbrake, as well as this nifty rear window. And don't forget your pedals in panel 15. Panel 17 shows the brake booster and the brake reservoir being glued together. Panel 20 shows our body with the side skirt being installed. Panel 21 shows where our engine cover goes and how it hooks in place. And then we also put in our side glass and the rear view mirror. Panel 22 shows the body tub being glued into place and make sure that these line up with the hinges of that engine hatch. Panel 23 shows the front suspension going into the body up front. And then we've got these NASA scoops as well. Panel 24 shows the front spring shock absorbers being glued into place and then the entire chassis pan gets dropped onto the body. Panel 25 shows our hub carriers being glued into place and then we've got that three-piece wheel with the outer wheel, the retainer and the inner wheel. Make sure you don't get any glue on that retainer or you're going to lock that wheel in place. Panel 27 shows our completed wheel being dropped into that nice Pirelli tire and you got to make up four of these. And then in panel 29 it shows how those wheels and tires get glued onto the chassis. Panel 29 shows you how to paint your red taillights in the back here and then shows you where they drop in in the rear light panel. Here in panel 30 we see that panel being glued onto the back of the car. Panel 31 shows the rear bumper and our backup lights being glued in place and then our dual tailpipes which go in. Now in case you were wondering where that front windshield was, here it glues on from the outside and you get that really cool windshield wiper as well. Panel 33 shows our side view mirror housings being glued on the car and then you put the mirror into the housings itself. Down here in panel 34 we see the deck lid being glued up in the front as well as this cross member off the back. And panel 35 shows the front bumper being glued in place and there's these cool road lamps behind with lenses as well. Now I didn't see any decals in here so I guess I'll have to sign off for this video. So have a good one everybody and we'll see you next week. We start our look at the red plastic parts with the body from our 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach. And these vents are perfect. They're just like the real thing. They are see-through. So that again is really awesome. You don't have to try to dig them out with a scribing tool or anything. There are mold marks underneath here, which are easy to remove. And uh, make sure you get rid of them in case they interfere with anything. The Lamborghini script is on the back of that little trunk lid there, which is really amazing. There you can see it's all hollow. That's where we have to glue in our parts. Underneath we get that amazing spare tire and a bit of our battery there. Again, very excellent. But uh, I just want to show you something before we carry on with the red parts. Here we have the two different bodies and I just wanted to show you the differences. So this is our 25th anniversary Lamborghini. And down here we have the Lamborghini LP500S from 1982, which I did a review on earlier. As you can see, the front ends are basically the same. Uh, there is a bit of a difference. You've got that brace in between. But definitely the back end of the body from here is quite different. I do believe though that the sides are, well, no, they're different too. They got the turn signal lights. So Monogram did actually revise the body for our 25th anniversary Lambo. On this parts tree, we have our engine cover and our deck lid, as well as the bucket seats, and then the equipment for the engine and our rear taillight panel. There's a couple of the scoops and our front grill, and we even have our dashboard here. So let's just take a look at how great that is. Again, we got those see-through vents, which is really cool. Uh, yeah, there's some old marks up here that we have to get rid of. Same as underneath on the deck. And there's the, the cross brace in there. The seats are really nicely done as are the front panel and the dashboard. You can see the gauges on here. I know this is hard to see with the red, but still ends up looking really great. There's those nice uh, engine components. 
Looks like you get dual distributors on there, right by the uh, injectors. Again, really awesome work by Monogram. This parts tree has our left and right hand side skirts, as well as the back under panel. Again, the detail on this is excellent. There's a little mesh right here between the exhaust pipes, which is really cool. And of course, a couple of louvers in there. And then those side skirts are really nice with the vents on there. <laughs> there are some mold marks again underneath, but that's easily taken care of with that number 16 hobby blade. Here we have our Ferrari V12 in potentially a Ferrari red plastic. Not really sure on that, it'd have to color match it. But you can see all the little bits and pieces. We've got those braces here for our front inner wheel wells, or rear wheel wells, I guess. And then the oil pan, there's our front clip. And we also have the upper and lower radiator and our interior tub. So just take a look at how great that uh, molding is. Really awesome stuff. The engine looks correct on there with the transmission off the back. The oil pan is actually finned. Very cool stuff. That's the top of the dashboard right there. And then the front panel. Again, really excellent work. Probably hard to see in red. But let's turn over this so we can see our interior bucket. Now there are some mold marks on the carpet, but it doesn't really look like it would be much of a big deal as the bucket seat should cover that. Again, really nicely done. The shift gate in here looks correct. The circular pattern with the little six, uh, what do you call them, channels to go into. And then there's the rest of the instrument panel there, or the center console, I guess. So again, really nicely done. This will look really excellent in your model. This parts tree contains a lot of the engine and suspension components. We can see all our front springs and rear springs here, the little half axles, and then we've got the uh, front lower A-arm assembly and whatnot, and then all the different little hoses and pipes. There's our intake manifold, and uh, there we've got our front spindles and the components for our wheels, and we've got the nice steering wheel there as well. So again, looking at this up close, you can see all the excellent detail on there. Really wonderfully done. On the back again, maybe not too many mold marks, I'm not too sure. But overall, really awesome stuff. This parts tree includes the chassis, and then we've got our wheel backs here. The two little radiators with the fans, cylinder heads, and our exhaust manifolds. There is a little monogram models mold mark right there, but if you really want to remove it, it won't be hard to get it. Again, use that number 16 hobby blade. Look at all that nice detail. Look at the little fans inside there. Really excellent stuff. Again, we got some mold marks here. Uh, make sure when you put this together that these are not interfering with anything. If they are, again, just remove them. Everything will look good once this is all made nice and flat. But again, I mean, Monogram is excellent and always has done excellent work. Here's our chrome components, and we get these wonderful little wheels on here. And then there's all our mirrors and the alternator and all that great stuff, our exhausts and everything else. And I'm so glad to actually have this chrome tree because on the other Lamborghini that I reviewed, again, that was missing. So I can see what the little components look like. And again, very nicely done by Monogram. This parts tree shows our clear components. There's those nice side windows, and you're going to have to uh, very carefully paint a black line in here, which uh, will be very interesting. You could use black metal foil as well, which might make things easier. There's that front windshield, the rear window. These are the little covers for our headlights. And then some of these are the parking brake lights and the headlights as well. And here are our tail lights, and these ones you will have to paint. So let's just bring this up and show you how wonderful these look. The detail on here is nice and crisp, but again, would you expect anything less from Monogram? Very well done. Again, a couple little uh, mold marks on the side glass here, which will have to be uh, filed down just to make it all fit flat. But again, very beautiful from Monogram. The tires in this wonderful model kit are Pirelli Cinturato P7 tires. And as you can see, they do not actually go all the way through. There is this little backing plate in the rubber with a tinier hole in it on the one side. 
Do not enlarge this hole because that's actually how the wheels go in place on here. The tread on it is really wonderful, as you can see. Now one thing I was wondering is, could these tires fit on the spinner tool? And in fact, they will. They just won't go through. So if you're going to use your 7 16 uh, socket drive here for your spinning tool, you now know that these tires will go on there. The question is, can I get it out? Yes, I can. So there we go. That's the tires you get, and they're wonderful. Well, I hope you enjoyed this bodacious ride in this amazing 25th anniversary Lamborghini Countach by Monogram, and that this video helps you in deciding what model kit to buy next. And if you want to see what model cars I have for sale, check out this cool link over here. It'll take you right to our website, and don't forget to subscribe right down here. Now, as promised, here's a really cool model car video that you should check out next. Well, I hope you can join us next time as we take a look at more of these amazing kits from the 1980s. And until next time, everyone, be excellent to each other.